I am Don Bitz. I am with Lazaro Medical. Um, before we actually get into the presentation, I just want you to pause for a moment. You're breathing. Now, not everybody can, can say that. They, many people, can, they, they take that for granted, or we take it for granted because we don't have to think about it. Now, I want you to take another moment. Take a breath in. Hold that breath in. Now, imagine if you were part of the 40 million people that couldn't breathe and that gasping sensation that happens after you kind of come to the end of your breath and they can't get that breath. What's very interesting about 40 million of those patients who have been diagnosed with some form of asthma or COPD is that really about 20% of those actually have a disease that you've likely never heard of. And that's a disease called tracheobronchial malaysia. Now tracheobronchial malaysia, big word, small acronym, TBM, likely affects about 8 million patients in the US alone. And of those 8 million patients, about 4 million of those patients actively are suffering from a disease that's so severe it's actually causing a quality of life issue and, it's and, or, and or it's causing potentially their, their ultimate demise. So let me read a very quick excerpt from the very active social media group, uh, the Facebook group of the T TBM patients. It's difficult to process when something is stolen from you, something as seemingly trivial as a piece of jewelry missing money from your wallet, or something substantial like your health, shadowed by a thing called normalcy. That's what it's like living with TBM. And that's a direct quote from a patient. So TBM is basically, you can see here, you have your healthy trachea, should look nice and open and healthy and capable of, of creating breath for you. However, as we age, as we get exposed to COVID, as we get exposed to corticosteroids, GERDs, all these things, smoking, that actually cause inflammation in the trachea, what happens is the cartilage infrastructure can actually start to break down. And as it starts to break down, you get flaccidity in your trachea. And unfortunately, it starts to collapse upon itself and it's manifested very first symptoms tend to be chronic cough. So raise your hand of anybody you know that's got a chronic cough that just won't go away. Grandmother, father, personal maybe, your own person. Think about all of those patients. Now think about those patients that have COPD but aren't getting better, they're getting worse. They're getting all the right treatments, but unfortunately, they continue to progress in their disease state. Likely, the problem is structural with their airways and not something that can be pharmaceutically treated. So at Lazaro Medical, what we have done is we've really embraced this whole disease state of TBM. First and foremost, we actually um, devised a robotic procedure to actually correct tracheobronchial malaysia. So instead of having a big incision that went from stem to stern to actually open up your ribs to get access to the backside of your trachea where we treat TBM, we actually have devised a robotic procedure and partnered with some very large robotic company in the uh, medical device industry um, to really highlight this disease. Then what we've done is we've actually developed a scaffold system and that scaffold system is currently pending FDA uh, we've got line of sight to FDA submission towards the end of the calendar year with 2025 commercialization of this product. It's a 510K pathway. That's actually some of the milestones that we've achieved since the last time we were here at LSI. We've had successful pre-submission meetings with the FDA. We've got a pending pre-submission meeting. We've had a successful feasibility study in animals in a preclinical setting. We've got a pending GLP study, all of which will support that FDA submission. We've also continued to develop um, training and opportunities to help um, propagate the knowledge about this disease as well as the treatment options. And then as an organization, we continue to develop um, ongoing products from a portfolio standpoint to really help um, treat this disease. But really, it's the patients that we started talking about that we need to really highlight. This is actually one of our patients. Now, today, the physicians have to use a, a surgical square piece of mesh. They have to trim it, they have to MacGyver it, they have to be able to finesse it with the very highest skill set that they have in their, um, in their skills. And only really the top 0.1% of physicians can actually do this procedure today because of that MacGyvering. But with our technology, really any thoracic surgeon that's robotically trained can do this and get these results. So this is Kathy. Kathy was a patient, or is a patient with TBM. She was on a mechanical ventilator, a home care ventilator, for two years prior to her surgery. This was Kathy after her surgery within two weeks. How is that? How is that for life? How is that for cancer? 
so it might have been a little hard to hear. It was a little faint, but she screams at the top of her lungs. How was that for lungs? How was that for airflow? That was two weeks after surgery. So when we're talking about an anatomical fix with a structural medical device that we created at Lazaro Medical, that we can get into the hands of really any surgeon, any thoracic surgeon, robotically insert it and get those kinds of results. This is essentially a representation of our technology. Again, FDA submission later, later here in 2024, commercialization early 2025. We of course have a full patent suite. We've got a great strong 510K pathway. We have existing DRG and CPT codes, and we have a seed round that's full of strategics. Those strategics include um, entities like the Mayo Clinic, Northwell Health, also again, a large robotic um, uh, player in the marketplace. We've raised a total of $5 million today. We have a, a pending, a very impending $2 million NIH direct to phase two grant that should be awarded within the next couple of weeks. And we have an outstanding $3 million for our total of $10 million seed round to continue to drive this uh, product to uh, the marketplace. Again, a very well uh, established group of uh, medical team um, business as well as clinical advisors. And of course, from a summation standpoint, we've got a very large market, about $40 billion completely untapped, results that actually speak for themselves, as you can see, a clear FDA pathway through a 510K, as well as um, uh, uh, patents and reimbursement. With that being said, please join us, come see our technology, table three, we would love to have you. Thank you very much.